Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Warren for Queensbury Promotions, sponsored by Rainham Steel, proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the European Flyweight Championship, live and exclusive on Box Nation from the Echo Arena here in Liverpool. Your officials were appointed by the EBU and your three scoring judges at ringside are Giuseppe Quattroni of Italy, Philippe Verbecki of Belgium and Erki Merdinen of Finland. Your EBU supervisor is Peter Stuckey of Switzerland and your steward in charge is Dave Roden of the UK. Your timekeeper at the bell is Andrew East and when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Ansi Pereyoki of Finland. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner stands the challenger with an unbeaten record of 12 wins with two KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled seven stone, 13 pounds, and tonight he wears the red, white, and blue shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the British and Commonwealth champion from Liverpool, Kevin Satchel. And across the ring in the red corner stands the European champion, a man whose record reads 23 wins, three losses, two draws with seven KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he also scaled seven stone, 13 pounds. And tonight, he wears the silver shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from La Coruña, Spain, Larry Yanchi. Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, I wait to put in fine, follow the rules and obey my comments. May the best man win. Shake hands, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 3 minute rounds for the European Flyweight Championship. Well, such was the concentration on the face of Kevin Satchel. I don't think he even noticed he was still wearing his sponsor's t shirt, but that's been taken off. He's ready to rumble. And in the opposite corner, the veteran Belarusian who now lives in Spain and a South Pole to boot, Valerie Yanchai. What an opportunity. They paid a few quid, Barry, to get him over here. Such a big night for Satchel. It's huge, and I think you know, the jab's going to be pitiful you know, for, really for Satchel, isn't it? That's going to be the key for him, is, is establishing that jab early, even though he's boxing against the South Pole, keeping that foot on the outside. You can see Yanchai's nose, you know, obviously he's getting, used to getting hit a lot, isn't he? So you think that jab keeping in his face, making him, making him rush his work and walk into another shot from Satchel, I think that's the key. I like Satchel, I've been a fan of his for a while. And the jab on the right hand landed there for Satchel. You can already see that Yanchi's not short of speed when it comes to hand movement. You can also see from that nose that uh, the jabs have, have not missed him over the years. Well, he's committed, isn't he? <laughs> you can tell that by his face. Strength has certainly been something that has been an ally to Satchel over the years. There's always been talk in recent seasons, that in recent years, whether he's been tied at the way. That's never going to go away as he just takes a right hand from Yanchi. But he's always been strong. He did have to get up off the floor against Butcher. The, the fights have become tougher in, in the last year or two. Yeah, you just you see, oh, good right hand there from Satchel off the ropes. The best one. You had to take a few, a few left left hands there from the South West hand from Yanchi himself, Satchel, and it's just, it just leaves his chin a little bit too high. That's a criticism of, of, of Kevin Satchel there. Just needs to keep that chin tucked in nice and low. Keep the hands up high. And just keep that shape. Work Yanchi is keep to his plan. And if anything, first sort of minute or so, maybe slight hand speed in favour of Yanchi. He's been involved in some tight, tight decisions. He, he drew initially with Otono when he first challenged for this flyweight uh, title, then lost a split decision. He lost another tight one on points to Tsurutsu before he finally came good 
at the fourth attempt, having previously challenged off at Bantam. That's good from Saturday, establishing that right hand and following through the left hook. We talk about Jancic being experienced, but this is this is Satchel's sixth fight on the title fight on the spin as well. He's, 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 not, he's, not, he's not a foreign ground for him going 12 rounds. No, absolutely. He's definitely got the strength. I'll just take another punch from Yanchi. Yeah, but paid him back with three. And you know Yanchi's laughing. I don't think he's worried about the power of Sasso. They're, they're scoring soft shots from Sasso. And that's what he needs. Don't worry about trying to knock the guy out. Just keep picking up the points, scoring the punches. Tight first round as Yanchi smiles at the end of it. I think he's happy enough with that opening three minutes. It's a tight one to score. I, I thought sort of more of the eye-catching punches came from the champion. Yeah, I think I, I think the wo the work rate. I think the sad. So I think he landed with enough of his own to for me to. For me, I'd, I'd give it an even round. I think Sassel landed with a good shot. The power shots came from, from, the, from the champion. Generally, the right-hand side, keeping your right hand up and being busy like we've been in the gym. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, very good start. Let's have more of it. Nice, nice deep breaths. Time it. Stevenson's in the corner. Paul Stevenson with the advice there for Kevin Satchel. A new addition to the family in recent months as well, Cody, alongside his brother Alfie, big admirers of dad and big boxing fans too already. But the corner were quite happy there, Barry, but the, the sort of watchword was busyness, and perhaps a little more than the first round. Yeah, you can't, what, what he can't actually, he's only just been in the very beginning of this round, just lean forward with the left hand, shorten the gap, especially against the southpaw. There's a cut there. Brother Reyes is just on the left edge of the eye, Yanchi. There's a couple of right hands that landed from Satchel. He, he threw two right hands at the start of the, the round. Accidental head clash. The referee's just gone about across to both corners. He said accidental head clash. There's another right hand from Satchel. Again. Okay. That's good. There seems to be a bit more method here from Satchel. I think he's loading up that first round, but he's settling down now. He's going to make sure he just keeps that left foot on the outside, that's all. Sometimes he steps inside the guard of Yanchid and then has to get caught with the, with the right hand over the top. Well, that was much better. Just took a little half step back to buy himself some space, Satchel. Looks like he's warming into this now. Nice little combination there from Yanchi, and again with a good left hand, but a response from Satchel. That's good, that's good with the three punch combinations, that's what he needs. Three Satchel. punch combinations and move. And his accuracy is much, much better in the second round, and he's starting to tee off with a minute and a half left of the second. Silly mistake there from Satchel. Left himself wide open, trying to be a little bit too tricky and walked into a jab there from the champion. There's going to be plenty of sparring with Jazza Dickens in the build up to this one. Got a little Southpaw experience. That would be perfect for this guy, wouldn't it? And the big smile from Yanchi with a clubbing left hand up close. You get the sense that he feels he's seen and, and done it all before. Oh, good left hand there as well from, from Yanchi. And another one. Oh, he whips it in, doesn't he? Really does. It's a looping shot. It's a shot really that Kevin Sasso should be getting caught with from range. Such a bright start. The first minute and a half was all Satchel. Yeah. His timing was good, his distance was good, he was landing shots and actually just getting back into this. And 
and that cut just starting to bleed, just starting to drip a little blood. It, thankfully, it's down the side of the cheek. Good that look at there from Yanchi with Sasso on the ropes, sustain a little bit too long. A good right hand again. Oh, that was a really good right. Yeah, it's a good right hand up close. So just a little stutter of the step there, Barry. Another very close. I favoured Sasso. I think his earlier work for me was more standout. But the champion came back into it in the last half and. A little bit too close. I think Satchel giving away too much ground sometimes, giving away, making some silly mistakes. But when he's when he's boxing well, he's he's he's, he's doing the right things. Is that the clash of heads there? I think maybe. Eyes, keep moving. There, it might have been just there as he pulled away. Amazing when it was. It was just there when he he pulled away, Yanchi. But that, that it's amazing like when you consider they were sort of. That banging like heads like pinball previously. That looks like a punch at the inside of the glove, the rope. Yeah, the inside of the glove, hasn't it? Just scraped at the hand, which which is really then a, a shot. That's a punch. Well, tight first round. And Satchel might have taken the second as we move into the third. just can't switch off can he satchel that's that's all and when, when he got his mind on he and he's doing the right things long punches following through with the three punch combinations he switches off from he thinks it's a safe distance but Yance is closer to the gap quick the longer arms and than, than maybe than, than it looks and he, and he lands with the shots from range so satchel just can't switch off so keep that concentration for three minutes of every round Despite the fact that he's the champion, Yanchi, he actually has only ever beaten four fighters with winning records. And yet here he is, European champion at the age of 37. Well, you can see Yanchi can be at work, can you? You can see that, you know, and I think Satsu could can do that, can win the fight this way, just at, at work and in the volume of punches. He always seems to, you know, you can see Yanchi is a, I think he's a knockout puncher, but he looks like a hurdle puncher, isn't he? You've got to stop being in traps. And set your rhythm. Everyone remembers really Kevin Satchel coming alive in 2012. That six round stoppage of Chris Edwards to win the British title. And that really was the performance that sort of put him into the forefront of boxing fans' thinking. Gone on to defend that British title a couple of times. He's, he's won more. Theoretically, uh, away from getting that Lonsdale belt. He should have fought a rematch with Ian Butcher, but an ankle injury kept him out of that. So hence, he's moved on, and here he is, hopefully with greater aspirations than the European title. No better tactics, just keep moving. All, every, time, every time he throws a punch, you just got to spin and move. has been involved in a, a few sparkling performances and some real grueling fights lately coming up next we've got what many people in the trade suspect might be one of the fights of the night stalker against Cattrall unbeaten 9-0 fighters primed against each other at a crucial stage of the respective careers what a fight that could be it's great to see those sort of matches being made it's, it's, it's a risky fight for either one so early in their careers to take that take that step you think you know stalker being older probably needs to move on quicker than Cattrall but you have to have to throw both fighters want to take that fight both having confidence in and their ability to beat the other one it's going to be a cracker I'm sure yeah well, looking forward to that that's up next after this one you just saw Yanchi though Starting to let the leather go. Yes, a loop and left hand was calling Satchel all the problems. And that was another really close round, which I just edged for the champion. I think Satchel did most of the work, but I think Yancey just landed with the, with the better shots for me in the last little 30 seconds was enough to, to swing his way.
Yanchi coming out for round four, perhaps with a slight advantage. First and third rounds very tight. I give the opener to Yanchi in the last one too. I've got him up by one. I think Barry might have it slightly tighter the other way round, but it's that sort of fight. It's, he comes out, Yanchi, with Vaseline smeared on both eyes. I think he might have a slight blemish to the right eye too. Yeah, I, I think well, Yanchi's an awkward customer for sure, but I think this is a fight that Sasha can win if he keeps his concentration for every minute of every round. He thinks he's in a safe distance there. It's not, it's not a safe distance. You've got to keep busy. you got to keep this guy... You've got to keep the champion quiet. Does he need to get him on the back foot, Barry? I don't think he, I don't think he's able to, but I think I don't think that's a problem. I think that's fine. I think you can circle him and then come in with a straight punch like we've just seen there. Three punch combinations, nice and long, not leaning in but turning from the waist with the shots, and then spinning off, regrouping and starting again. Oh, he took a right hand there from Yanchi Satchel. I think certainly Paul Stevenson was asking for him to sort of land his punches and then spin off to yeah, the side during right. the break. And he just steps his right foot forward sometimes, Satchel, when he throws the right hand. It puts him into a salt ball stance. Like, just got to be careful, don't get caught in the change. And is he holding his feet in distance, or is, is it just he's not quite judging it well, perfectly? He, he's in a, what would usually be a safe distance for himself. No, he's, like, he's an arm's length and then a little bit further away. But Yanchi, you know, he had to close the gap really good, or he got frequently long arms, because he's landing with that looping left hand from the salt ball stance. So Sasha just needs to reassess where his safe distance is. But the best thing is just to keep busy and keep focused all the time. But they're close rounds, aren't they? There's nip, there's nip and tuck either from either one. But then you just feel sometimes Jan, Janchiv's power, it might just be enough to give him the edge. And certainly Satchel's used to being the stronger man in there, in this division. Certainly this round, there's been much more work up close. But again, a clean, a clean burst of punches from either fight, it will be enough to, to nick him the round. A good left hand there from the champion, again, landing too frequent with that left hand from the south coast stance. Couple of little punches yeah. in up close. Final 30 seconds could decide it. And certainly in the build-ups, Satcher was talking about making his youth tell, his work rate, his energy. We've not really seen that borne out yet, Barry. No. Oh, that's good work for me, though. Yanchi, Yanchi will be yeah. happy with the pace of the fight, I think. Yeah, I think, I think you're right, yeah. It's been, he's done a lot of moving, Satchel, but not, not enough threatening. And again, another close round. It's hard to call, isn't it? I maybe just edge the champion, I think, for, the, for the, the, the more weight in the shots. But there's nothing in it. It's so tight. So tight at the end of four. There's that right hand. I think he was off balance as much as anything. He sort of shrugged his shoulders and shook his head, Satchel. But a couple of clean punches landed in, in close, tight rounds like that. Maybe it's the one big eye-catching eye punch that decides the scoring. That's what it is. But look at the response there again from Satchel. Just when you think, you know, he's just being a little bit outworked or the clean punch being out by the champion, he comes back with his own. Mali. Mali. Uh huh. Stand side the way you do and to set up your right. When you get close, away from the body shots. Okay. Here we go then into the fifth. Very, very tight contest so far for this European flyweight title held by the veteran Valerie Yanchi. few right hands landed there from Satchel and much more volume at the start of this round. That's good from Satchel there. Coming up nice and tight and then landing when Yanchi was moving off. Oh, a right hand and then a sort of left uppercut inside from Yanchi. A good response there from Satchel having been caught, but he's getting caught with that left, looping left hand every time.
leaned in with a left hook of himself, Satchel there as well. It, he, but he's done that right hand, but he went, took the right foot forward, something I said I didn't like him doing. But had success with it from the south ball stance, didn't he, with the left hook. Satchel just missed with the right hand and ended up leaning over the back of Yanchi. who turned pro at 27, relatively late. And someone and 10 years later, he's the champion. Again, no, no real clean work, is it? But it, it looks... From where I, I'm sitting now, it's like Satchel, Satchel's trying to make the, the play more than anyone else. Yeah, he's forcing this round, isn't he? Definitely. He's just putting it out, isn't he? Both handing a good shot there. More blood. I think there's a little coming out from the nose as well, but certainly there's a smear of blood now. Ooh, and the head <laughs> came close again. Satchel's having more success than, than you would su suspect of being cl of close. He throws little sneaky punches, doesn't he? Does, he? Yeah. He's been the taller guy with the longer arms, he'd probably struggle inside, but hasn't been the case so far. You see the name of his new son, Cody, on the back of his trunks as he takes a couple of lefts and rights there. Satchel again, and he touched down immediately. The referee said no. I think there was a slip. Yeah. This is now this, no, this 30 seconds or, or something to go. This way, Satchel can't switch off around where he's doing well in or winning, in my opinion. But a couple of clean punches on the champion could swing it his way, and they didn't come, so that's the round for Satchel. And perhaps, perhaps, who knows, one he needed. Tranquilo. Valeri, tranquilo. Solo tienes que moverte un poco más. Now that cut has become wider and longer. See, the feet were quite close together. There was a, a, a shove, and although there was a punch when he was on the way down, he, he definitely lost his footing there, Satchel. Yeah, it's just a little bit on the advertising there in the middle of the ring. He hasn't been troubled with anything at all, Satchel. And is that, is that part of the reason, perhaps, why he's getting with, caught with some seemingly silly punches? It almost seems like there's a bit of laziness there. But he just switches it. I just think it's, it's the judgment that he's in a safe distance, I've said before, that he's usually a safe distance for him, and it's not a safe distance in this fight, so he needs to readjust that. But the best thing is to do is just keep throwing punches, be busy, keep moving, keep spinning. And I think that's, that's his success to, to win the fight. Here we are into the sixth round then, approaching halfway, and I wonder maybe if Satchel and the, the camp feel that the second half of the fight is where they're going to take over anyway. Certainly that cut had become worse, and there's a little cheeky right hand from Satchel landed right on that left eye. A reminder there, you can always keep up with us on the Box Nation YouTube official, catching up on any footage interviews etc catching up with uh, Satchel was the left hand of Yanchi again yeah Satchel just does some good work he stayed nice and low he was dipping his head and coming back with punches and then just stood up too tall and had to take three back from the champion just to level up the round again the round he started off quite well I mean you sense that Satchel he feels completely comfortable in there he's fine he's not blowing he's, you know, he's doing some good work and some good punches just this his chin a little bit too high and switches off at times. There's only, little, there's only little mistakes he makes. He don't make massive mistakes. But you're at European level now, you get punished for little mistakes. That's good work from Satchel. So nice right hand, keep the good hand, brought his hand back up nice and tight. Showing some physical strength there as well. Yeah, he's trying to push him back now, Satchel. We touched on that earlier on. He's certainly more on the front foot the last round and a half. To be fair, something I said he didn't need to do, but it looks like you know, that might be the key now. Pushing the older man back. Let's just keep an eye on the work of Yanchu as well. If, that, if perhaps there's a, any signs that that might just be coming a little more ragged around the edges as he dabs away at that left eye again. Yeah, it was a good right hand running from Sasha. Just changed his tactics, like moving his head a little bit more. 
He's flipping a shot and throwing every time. Slightly reaching with the right hand satchel, but he's been getting through. And the Yanchi corner just becoming a little more animated. We hadn't heard from them at all, really, in the last sort of three or four rounds. We, we are now. It's good from Satchel again. Good head movement from him, good lateral movement. Making Yanchi miss and conquering straight away. And Yanchi missing. Final 30 seconds then, it's been a, a better round for Satchel this. Yeah, it's been a good round, been a good round for him. And I think it's been a, it's been a head movement, the lateral movement. There's another right hand on that left eye. I think the eye's starting to bother Yanchi more than it did before, and I wonder if that's because he's, he's feeling the fight's getting harder. Uh, Satchel is a good long look at Yanchi as he turns back towards his own corner. I think he'll be happy with his work in that. And maybe, just maybe, Satchel feels the fight is starting to turn his way. Yeah, he has a good round there. Again, that's just showing him just standing up a little bit. But then the response every time he takes a shot, Satchel, he wants to fire back. And I just think he outworked Yanchi there, just kept rolling forward, slipping blocking punches, moving the head and countering every time, and that was a round that I gave the Satchel. I've got it level after six, Barry. Have you got Satchel just up? Yes, I have, yeah. It's been tight, been tight, but the last couple of rounds, things just starting to look a Fairly little brighter for that it. young man. The old, that was your best round, that was your most, it was your most, dom your most dominant round. It's just going to keep, keep pressing there, keeping the, the foot on the gas, keep pressing to see what we're doing. Uh, certainly, the corner seems to think that things are starting to go their way. Has Satchel just put one foot on the gas? Maybe, perhaps, a little hand on control of the fight. I think the head movement and the lateral movement of, of Satchel is, is what worked for him in that round. So I think we need to see more than that. And the willingness to throw a punch like he just did there. A good shot, good left hook there from Satchel. Just a willingness to throw every time he makes Yanchi miss, he throws back straight away. Now that was nice from Sack. So he just ducked below the punch and then came back with his own counter. I think we know. We know that Satchel can box. He, since sometimes he just yeah. wants to tough it out and man it out. To be fair, I thought he should have boxed in this in this fight. Should he should, should he be moving away, draw this guy on and counter him? But I think you know we've seen it in the last round and again in this round, going forward, pushing the older man back. He, he's had success with that. As long as he keeps moving ahead, keeps low centre of gravity. Just when he stands up, sometimes he lifts the chin up and gets caught with a punch that stands out. They both traded hooks there in the centre of the ring. And Yanchi's having to grit his teeth here. Oh, lovely. He had to take a, a right hand in the process, but it just seems that Satchel's starting to have the answer in most yeah, of these exchanges. He's boxing well. That was one silly mistake again. The thing he always does, he stood up. But he, he was doing head movement before he landed with that solid jab there, Satchel. There, that, 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 that's the move, and that's the key for him. Certainly the body language. Satchel looks the more comfortable of the two fighters now. Well, missing is as tiring as, as getting hit. It really is. You've got to draw the arm back. You, know, you, you, over, you overthrow with the punch. T you know, takes your body in the wrong direction. You've got to reach back again. And Satchel making the older guy miss is what's going to tire him out. There's a left hand round the side of the ear, the back of the head. Satchel complained that briefly. Straight back to work. Good round for Satchel so far. Final 30 seconds. And certainly Yanchi's missing more. Yeah, or, or being blocked. So yeah, Satchel keeping his hands high, blocking the shots. Coming back with his own. Yeah, in truth, Barry, those 
those sort of seemingly flashier punches of Jancha through the first three or maybe four rounds. That, that seems a long time ago now. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? The last two rounds have been impressive for Satchel. And the work rate, the head movement, the tenacity nice. is, is all been from Kevin Satchel. Tough a right hand again from Satchel. It's a good round. Another good look. Yes, it was a good round. I think that's three on the bounce for Satchel. Let's see the head movement, just, just stood up then, had to take a punch of his own, not a heavy shot, but just a, just a dipping and rolling, and landing with a nice little jab. But the head movement in the last couple of rounds, has been, for me, what's been the difference, was took him to just another level that, at the moment, Yanchi can't can can keep can compete with, can't cope with. And there was evidence of what Barry was talking about, about those sort of almost clever, sneaky shots in close, there was that... Lovely left hand that Satcher just sort of squeezed out from the shoulder position. Landed right flush against the jaw of Yanchi. Into the eighth round then. Six, seven and five before it. Kind to Kevin Satcher, we think. It hasn't been a bandstorm, it's, it's grueling fight, isn't it? It's a lot of, lot of punches thrown. And they're both fighting in that three-quarter range of, of most, of the, most of the fight. I think Satchel's starting to enjoy himself now. Yeah. He's standing but off and jabbing there from distance. But he's physically quite strong, isn't he, Satchel? You know, he's tougher than what he looks, that's for sure. But he's, he's physically quite strong. You know, he, he looks slender, he looks like he'd be pushed about. But, um, and he's held his own ground there and sometimes pushed the old man back. And four years as a pro now. Since that debut win in Wigan against Delroy Spencer. And here he is, 11 fights later, 12 fights later, potentially European champion. And what a historic night that is on Merseyside as we heard from our friends at the Echo a little earlier on. Well, to get a, get a set, get a British Commonwealth and European title, get that set on the you know, monumental piece is, is something special. It really is. Yeah, absolutely right. Liverpool flyweights. Uh, several of those over the years. Keith Wallace in the 80s. Peter Colshaw, of course, was a real favourite round here in the 90s. And Peter Kane back in the 1930s, who went on to world honours himself. Kevin Satchel looking to put his name up in lights. And a good 20 or so years on from Poco, Paul Hutchinson, who was such a star and the last Liverpool fighter to win a title like this. It's unbelievable that, isn't it? He's turned south, Paul, oh. and he, he takes a clipping right hand. He's tagged up until then, he's done everything his own way up until that point. Satchel. Well, this is the wrong that Satchel's winning. He's winning quite comfortable, let's be honest. But those two standout shots there from the champion, it could be enough in some people's cases to swing it his way. Not for me. Unless he continues with that. And that means solid shots like that. But just Satchel's just switching off every now and again. I guess there has to be a difference, doesn't there, between confidence and overconfidence. Enjoying yourself and actually taking your food off the gas. Well, don't, for don't forget what we're giving this success. And it wasn't the, the, standing, the standing back out the range. It was the rolling his head and throwing every time he made Jancic miss. Yancey having a little bit more success there again. Still around, I think the early, the early work for Satchel was enough. But he made it tight by switching off a little bit in the last 30, 40 seconds. And Yanchi went back to his corner doing the sort of muscle man salute. I think he was quite pleased with the end of the round. Well, he finished it strong, didn't he? He finished that round strong. Landed with the, with the, the stand-up punches, if you like. I just think the work rate of Satchel for me in the early part of the round got him through. But again, he just stands up tall, doesn't he, in range there, Satchel. And that's one of his few mistakes that he makes. But at this level, a, a mistake that's going to get penalised every time. Well, the first was tight. The third was tight. You could argue that eighth was tight. Not quite as close as the previous ones. As you see, the 
the battle scars on the face of Yanchi. He's got the, the longer cut on the left step eye. He's definitely got a blemish on the right. And, and blood hey. was coming from the nose of Satchel towards the end of that eighth round. Here we go then. Four more into the ninth. How much more in the tank is the champion Valerie Yanchi got? How close is this on the cards? Well, you feel it was close, wouldn't you? I think I got Satchel like three points up, but that could easily be one point, couldn't it? There's only a round, uh, no, and one round the other way, and it's a, it's a 1.5. And the crowd started to get into it as well. As people start to come in for some of their favourites, perhaps later on the bill. Don't forget Stalker against Cattrall, the battle of the unbeatens coming up after this one. Oh, good right hand from Satchel. Satchel missed with the right hand, but he was clever enough and just used his body weight to come back with the left again switching to the south ball stance he throws the right hand brings that right foot forward I we got, got penalised for that in the last round but definitely the coming forward rolling, for, rolling forwards moving ahead pushing the older man back is, is being what's work for him and physically Barry when he gets to this stage in a fight how, how hard is it what's the thought process well, well, I think Satchel's strong enough to push him back, so that I think there's something that he that he can do, and maybe he needs to do. You know, you've got to work to your strengths, haven't you? That's what it, in, in in these rounds when they're hard and you get to the tired, you've got to do what comes natural to you. Otherwise, you're fighting against yourself to really to do things that are that are not nat uh, that are unnatural. It's, it's your natural movement is to move and box. You move and box. I just think that little bit of a head movement for Satchel has been a difference in these later rounds. So landed a couple of body shots in the first round or so. There's not been much of that since, hasn't it? Good right hand from Satchel. He just lost his footing again and there's a dribble of blood as he takes a little cupping right hand up close. There's blood from the nose of Satchel again. Sorry, good. That's better from Satchel. Having a, de having a decent run, looked like Yanchev was coming back into it, then he fires back, bites on that gum shield, throws those straight punches. And that might just be enough in these close rounds, just if it's been enough for me to, in these close rounds to give him the edge. Good response here from Yanchev with some good body work there. Nothing on the punches, we let his hands go. The right hand has worked quite well for Sachs. He's missed with a few of them when he's led with the right hand, but generally that's been his punch tonight. That's ever working well with the south point. There he goes again. We're both have a success there. Nice little finish for Yanche, but I think another round for me for Satchel. And another hard round too. Great, great round. Lovely way. Strong round. Kev, we're doing the job and we're doing a great job. Three to Three go, mate. To go. Now what? What is it? What a tactics here appear to be is come out and work hard for the first 30 and hope you go away. But that's never going to happen, you know what I mean? Let him burn himself out in the first 30. Keep it tight and work with him. When he wants to rest, we press. Your tactics are great. You're staying on the outside. You're mixing up the long game with the short game. But effective getting into both areas. You just keep doing what you're doing. The last thing I want to say to you is just... He's desperate. He'll come out and he'll throw some big ones early. Yeah. We can't give him any fucking yeah. joy with that. We're going to keep our hands nice and high us, you know what I mean, and protect him. He's switched on. And again, so once yeah. we're in, we're in, Kev, remember. Yeah, once we're in, we're in, shoulder. Out. Yeah, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, but still, at the same time, lift it up. Long. Here we go, then, into the championship rounds, into the 10th, and the first of those, and that motivational speech from Paul Stevenson in the corner, when he wants to rest, we press. <laughs> I think I might use that. I'll yeah, put it on a T-shirt. What's that for, you, for your ironing company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flower arranging, as you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's no arranging of flowers. There's slight rearranging of Yanchi's features, that's for sure. Cut at very early on with a head clash. And they've done a good job with that. 
Good left hand there from Yanchin. I think Sasha was trying to move back, trying to set him up for something, but Yanchin just kept throwing punches. And he was happy to throw them square as well. Yeah. well there might be some sort of, you know, an element of desperation now. Well, it, no, How will they feel about the scoring, Barry? How will they feel where they are well, in the fight? The, the, the rounds are close. I just think he's just, just losing every, like most of the rounds, Yanchin. That's all. I think the, the rounds are quite close. There's not much in him. But for me, they're just a better worse coming from Satsun. I think body language and the way he's come yeah, out this so round, he must have, I think he's been told he's got to go, go at it. Just, uh, Yanchi has a bit of success, and now Satsun's fighting back. And that's been like that, hasn't it? No, no, no one let him either fight and have too much of his own way. Yeah, it's been a lot of punches thrown. It's been a hard fight. It's, it's not been, been too much tangling, has there? No, it's been grueling, hasn't it? It's been a real, like a real battle of attrition. Oh, good right hand from Satchel. First time we've seen Yanchev using the ring. And having pressed forward in the first minute or so, and with a minute left in this tenth, it's now Satchel who's on the front foot again. That's good from Satchel there, nice little right hand. Didn't really reach into it like he has in the past, just turned from the waist. Good response there though from the champion and back again, it's been good. <laughs> Satchel fans trying to help their man, a bit of noise. Well, Satchel holding the hit and even, even switching hands on the back of the head. And that's been a couple of body shots weighing in from Yanchi too. It's been a concerted effort from the champion this round. Yeah, it's a close round again, isn't it? Yanchi having a good start and good body punches and Satchwell having, having a little bit of a spur back as well. Oh, good shot there from, from Yanchi. Satchwell coming back trying to maul his man. There was a good clipping left hook and a couple of rights to the body. It was a good comeback from Satchwell. But most of the earlier work was done by Yanchi, who might have needed that. Yeah, it did for me, yeah, that good round there from the champion. He did need it, didn't he? Just to break the rhythm of Satchel. They've all been close rounds, but I've just been edging Satchel. But in this round, Yanchi started fast and he finished fast as well, didn't he? And even when Satchel tried to have a little bit of a spurt himself, landed with some good shots. The champion there kept throwing punches back when he needed to, and enough for me to win that round. Two rounds to go. First and third were very tight. The eighth was close as well. I've, I've got Satchel by two, Barry. I've got him by three. But, you know, but, and, and I don't think he could have anyone but Satchel ahead. But it could be only by a round and it could be close. Was that a last throw of the dice from Yanchi? Has he got something else up his sleeve? What's going to happen in this next six minutes? Because... I suspect this will surely determine the result. Well, for Satchel, he starts good, you've got to finish the round strong. That's, I think that's the key for him. He starts wrong good, and then he's all about that, that Sugar and Leonard effect into the last 30 seconds, just to keep that in the judges' minds of you throwing good shots, you landing with good punches. Good orthodox boxing there from Satchel with the jab, and then the right hand. And that's again. Lovely. lovely. Excellent. It's hard, it's hard to establish a good jab against the South Pole. And now Satchel's trying to get on the front foot, and the crowd respond to that. Put it good work, just got to be careful, don't just tie himself out too early in the round. That's what he needs to do, just dip and throw, every, uh, move the head, just dip the knees, move the head and throw every time. Yanji, you know, he's quite effective throwing shots, but he's not, you know, he finds it hard to, to hit a moving target. He's not the most accurate of punches. Just a looping shot, he got all good style. Amazing, isn't it? Because we've gone nine rounds with hardly a, a body shot thrown, <laughs> and they've gone mad yeah, in the last, yeah, last yeah. four minutes. Good, 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 feet, good feet work there from Satchel. He just sort of darted from side to side and then came in at an angle. Oh, walked onto a left hand there, though, from Yanchi. But it's been a good, good round so far for Satchel. He's trying to outwork and bully and outmuscle Yanchi. And he's largely succeeding. He's throwing more punches too. He's overwhelming the champion here in this round. Not hurting him, but he's overwhelming him in work rate. 
smile from Yanchi as Satchel grits his teeth. Good body shot there from Satchel. Bites down in the gum shield and presses forward again with a minute to go. Well, this is it's been a hard really run. good effort this yeah, from Satchel, it. isn't it? It's been a really hard run. People talk about showing what you're made of oh, when it matters most, and Satchel's doing that now. Yancey just tried to move back and get a little bit of space there, and Satchel's just throwing punches, starting with a nice little left hook. Final 40 seconds then of the penultimate round. Oh, good, good straight hard shot there from the champion. Yeah, it's a shame because the, the previous two or three yeah. have been well defended by Satchel. He's got some internal clock though, hasn't he? Yanchi, that 30 second max seems to come alive. We talked about that in the Satchel corner. Oh, good shot. Big, big left hand from the South Pole and Satchel just shrugs it off. He took it well, didn't he, be fair? With a good shot. That's good, he stands up tall. Makes it look worse than it is. And another one. Blood streaming down the cheek of Yanchi with a concerted effort after a, a really, really important round from Satchel and surely that first two and a half minutes will be enough. Yes, definitely. Good body shot there from Satchel. Look at that. You said no, hardly any body shots thrown for the first three quarters of the fight. Now they're going right at it. This is Satchel just gritting his teeth there. Nice little hard combination. No, and, and to throw this in the 11th round in a fight that's been you know, really hard fought is, is a testament to his fitness. And credit to Yanchi, who came out hard in the 10th, got out fought for most yeah. of the 11th, and then managed to land that with a, with a flurry in the final 30 seconds. Good shot there. It's again, that loop in left hand, that Satchel hasn't been able to get out of the way of all night. But to his credit, he stands up too tall. I think it makes it look worse than it is. But he took that shot well, he shrugged in, just carried on punching. Yanchi applauding the fans here at the Echo Arena as we come out for the final round. They touch gloves, deep and mutual respect, but a, a job to be done. And you oh, sense they're both going to let it all hang <laughs> out here. I wonder if a knockdown could like swear. It could make a difference. No, no, it, could, it, it won't make a difference on my card. But you know, you'd feel that it could make a difference. Some of those early rounds being closer. And in truth, it's Yanchi who's perhaps landed the, the more yeah. flashy, eye catching punches well, if that was to happen. And I think the eighth round, I give the Satchel, that was a round that could have gone either way, and that could have been a pivotal round. Sorry, folks, don't mean to be the scaremonger at <laughs> this later. <laughs> but for me, I, just, I got Satchel ahead. I got him well ahead in a, in a really hard fought and close fight. I just think he showed some good qualities, gritted his teeth, took some good shots. Good right hand from Satchel. He'd just taken a punch previously. Another eye-catching one from the champion. It's been a good start of the round, I think, from the champion. Well, let's hope we're saying that word in the same sentence <laughs> as Yanchi's name for only a minute and a bit longer. And that's with all due respect to our Belarusian and Spanish friends out there watching Box Nation. Again, Satchel standing tall and taking a, taking a right hand. They're on the match on it, but he's rocked his head back and all the other catching shots in this round have come from the champion so far. Yeah, he's, he's put in a real effort. The 10th again here in the 12th. The spirited comeback. End of the 11th as another flashy right hand lands on the chin of Satchel, who looks furious with himself. He's not hurt, but he's making... The silly mistakes, like we said earlier, you get penalised. This, this is a high level, European level. You've got to keep your shape, you've got to keep in your plan all the time. Even when you're tired, you've got to keep your teeth, keep your chin down, hands up high. And significantly, with shots like that, you might be losing the round. Well, I think he's losing this round for sure, isn't he? Yeah. He's losing the round, but for me, he's winning the fight. That's a just missed with a swinging right hand. Satchel looks, you know, it sounds weird, but when you look at his face, he looks like he's going to the gear. I know exactly what you mean. He's, he's always looked comfortable yeah, in there all like, night. He's going like he's puffing. No, he, he can't go, because he's, you know, he's been a really hard scrap. And anyone who's sort of rumoured and murmured about Satchel being tight at the weight, I, I guess you only have to look at 
how strong he is at, at flying, how he's coming out, hopefully on top in what's been a gruelling affair. Compared to this 37-year-old champion as well, but he's a Yanchi, he's really, really big deep in his last two rounds. Yeah, absolutely, another of the latest old men in boxing. And the embrace at the end of 12 particularly hard-fought rounds. Yanchi feels like he's done enough. Satchel raised on the shoulder of Michael Stevenson. He feels he's done it. Manager Neil Marsh thinks he's done it. The Liverpool faithful hope he's done it. Barry Jones has he? Yeah, for me he has, yeah. I got him, I got him three points up. I think I just think his work rate is, was was too much for Yanchi at times. I think you know, I think a lot of rounds were close, I just think. And I think that maybe the the harder shots got were thrown by the champion. For me, Cecil's work rate, his tenacity, his will to want to win the fight uh, at times when it was close was enough for, to edge it as well. I thought he boxed excellent stages, made some silly mistakes there. I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll iron out because they're at this higher level. But for me, I think he's got the, the European title to go with his Commonwealth and British title. Barry Jones has got it 116-113 for Satchel. I've got it 115-113 for Satchel. I'm sure you've got it pretty tight as well. He's only 26, let's not forget Kevin Satchel, the father of two. And let's hope it's a family celebration in just a minute or so's time. Great credit to Valerie Anshu. The age of 37 has shown why that persistence paid off and why he finally became champion. Will that crown be wrested from his grasp shortly? Good fight though, Alex, wasn't it? Really grew a real grueling fight. Really was. They were neither having the, the power to knock to really trouble either one of the guys. You know, no one had power, no power to really stamp their authority on the fight. But it made it a real war of attrition. They just stood toe to toe pretty much for, for 12 rounds. There's Alfie. It's been a familiar face, ringside and postside interviews uh, with us in recent uh, years. He's got that British and Commonwealth belt across his shoulders. Apparently he's a massive boxing fan, Alfie. Will he have another belt across his shoulder shortly? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we now go to the scorecard. We have a majority decision. Giuseppe Quateroni, 114-114. Erki Marinan, 112-117. Philippe Vermecki, 112-110. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the winner and the new European flyweight champion from Liverpool, Kevin Satchel. Satchel's done it with a majority decision and a tight one it was as well. He's the Ladies new European the champion. The He's followed in the footsteps of Paul Hodgkinson. Merseyside and Liverpool have a new hero to celebrate tonight. One of the judges scoring it a draw. The other two going for Kevin Satchel, who is Super Kev, the Iceman. 30 miles a week, he ran for 10 weeks. He needed every step, an absolutely gruelling fight. A proud champion as well, a terrific sporting champion.